Dear Flat Earthers, I have a challenge for you. Here it is. Please go to 74 Gear. 74 Gear is all about aviation, and he has set up a challenge. So visit this video, the 1,500,000 challenge to prove that the Earth is flat. He's going to charter some type of plane. It might not look like this. But he's going to charter a plane to make this trip. He has scheduled this to be October the 20th, 2022. And I would like to see this happen. So please, please visit his YouTube channel. Visit this video to find out all the details. To be clear, I'm the one that's chartering this aircraft and you're coming along as my guest, which means that I have the rights to record everything. You're getting no points, no lounge access, nothing. You're gonna have to organize getting yourself down to Buenos Aires and then you'll have to worry and make sure that you have the visa and necessary paperwork in Perth and then worry about getting yourself from Perth to wherever it is that you live. Because I know there's flat earthers from all over the world, so I wanted to make it easy. All you have to do is get yourself to this one location, and then we're gonna do one flight together. You can organize your hotels, getting to and from the hotel, and getting to the airport, and from the airport in Perth, you can organize all that stuff on your own, because I'm not gonna coordinate a six day around the world trip. I don't have time for that. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not flying the plane and pilots don't control the flight path anyways. That's set up by dispatchers. So this is just a point to point line. I'm not saying that's the route we're going to fly. What I can tell you is that we're gonna take off from Buenos Aires, we're gonna be flying south and we're gonna end up in Perth. The flight's gonna be roughly 16 hours, which is not possible on your flat earth map. I think I read somewhere that someone said that it would be roughly 30 hours on this flat earth map. Something that's important if you are gonna plan to come and be a guest on this flight is that you purchase yourself a southern hemisphere compass because the compasses in the southern part of the world are different than the northern part of the world for the round earth people. But just for you flat earth people, I would buy a southern hemisphere compass so that way you can see as we take off, we're gonna be flying south and you can prove that we're not on some extreme rocket ship shooting across the flat earth globe. So I planned this flight in October because I wanted to give myself time to coordinate everything, give you all time to raise the funds necessary to do this flight. And also because in October it will be springtime in the Southern Hemisphere and I'm not trying to go when it's extremely cold. So I'm planning it to be in the Southern Hemisphere time of spring of October. Because if I waited until November, December, people would say, oh, it's too close to the holidays. So I picked October. I thought that would give time for everybody, time for you to go spend time with your family. Middle of October shouldn't interrupt anyone's family plans, so they should be able to make it. So there you have it. Let's get this done. 